I think fundamentally the reason technology has come to arbitration is because technology and the issues that we're facing in technology are more and more complex. And the complexity of those issues are extremely well suited uh, to be handled in arbitration. First and foremost, and cr critically the most important factor, is that you get to select your decision makers. So unlike walking to a courtroom where you might end up with a, a judge that has a lot of sophistication in his or her background on technology, or you might find one that doesn't. But in an arbitration setting, you're going to hand pick those arbitrators. You can pick arbitrators that you know based on their past experiences that they have a, a high level of technology experience. In fact, many of the institutions uh, that administer arbitrations today are selecting or creating separate pools of arbitrators uh, precisely because they have a lot of experience in technology. Second is that arbitration, by the nature of how the cases are conducted, the arbitrators are expected and take the time to really learn a case. So for the client, being in front of an arbitration panel and getting your issues resolved in front of that kind of panel gives you at least the comfort that the decisions are being made by folks who really understand or can understand your case. I would say that the most important lesson for the technology sector in terms of doing arbitrations is take your time. And what I mean by that is don't just jump into the case, don't just rely on your outside counsel uh, to tell you who should be your arbitrator. Take the time to really interview the arbitrators. How much time do they have available for your case? Uh, what's their experiences in your particular technology sector? As we all know, technology is moving very quickly, in which case some arbitrators may or may not have been kept up with particular industries. So take your time, set the stage right, and then the process will go to work.